Good day, ladies and gentlemen. There is a tremendous threat sweeping our nation and possibly our world. What you are about to witness is the effects of an extremely harmful and addictive drug. If there are children nearby, please send them into another room. You're watching this at your own risk. We begin with the day in the life of Sam. Hi, honey. Aww. So today I'm at Renee's house. We kind of just got a little bit too wasted last night and woke up and came up with the idea to um, do some wicked awesome art stuff. She lives in a cool place, man. It's pretty awesome just being the guy who does that weird shit on the side and gets by in doing it. On a side note, I like this view. This one's awesome piece from Lily, man. I think I might be having a little bit too much fun. Preserve your innocence of this infinitely harmful chemical. You have been warned to stop viewing. We continue our day in the life at approximately 9.50 p.m. Roughly one hour after Sam consumes less than one one thousandth of a gram of LSD. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> For some reason I had the idea that I was like taking a microdose tonight and just hang out and then I'll probably be in bed by like midnight. Dude, vlogging is tricky, man. Vlogging is really tricky. Is that lighting good? Because it was tight, it was like this fucking... Anyway. Are you laughing at me, Renee? No, I'm not. I'm talking to these guys. <laughs> the moon looks beautiful before though. Hey, what are they called? Preludes? Is it called a prelude? Prologue. Prologue? Prologue. <laughs> I'm going down rabbit holes. I shouldn't. And then I just kept getting trippy and trippy. And the world just kept kind of crumbling in on itself. Where was it hanging? It was down here. Wait. No, it's, no, no, no. You're supposed to look comfortable. Actual. <laughs> And that was like, whoa, <laughs> hold on tight. Hold on tight, hold on tight. Hi. It's currently quarter past 11. Constantly morphing vortex and I was like, we're in a house that's currently on stilts right now. <laughs> when did we drop? Nine? No way. It's only been like two hours. And then I looked at your face and it was super fish eye. Oh. Uh but you kind of just look like a Japanese cartoon that I didn't even recognize. And I was like, hi, I love you. I'm literally thinking in triangles right now. I sat down and I was like, holy fucking balls. <clears throat> These are the confessions of a man that got far more than he bargained for. I have difficulty finding the importance, like finding the sanctity of anything that I, that I'm doing. <laughs> and his name is Bing. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Look at his fucking eyes. You know, where is this in relation to how I feel? And then where is this in relation to where is the universe going to be in a million years? You know what happened? The kids gave birth to that and they were like, what do we call him? <laughs> significant thing that happens on a linear time scale that doesn't actually for anything in the entire universe and life itself is like even the concept of DNA is just gonna be like boop, boop, and we will have never existed. <laughs> wow it's so fisheye and there's little aliens behind these lenses and they live inside my fucking eyeballs and they're like fucking with the hue filter and saturation and shit and they're just <laughs> what the aliens are currently doing to my eyeballs right now. Oh, it looks so awesome. 
doesn't it? While the other house members slept, Sam stayed up writing notes to himself and taking photos of the sunrise, and also shared this photo on the World Wide Web. Once his loved one awoke, they decided to catch up at the beach with a family member who mentioned this lapse of judgment in publicly displaying his use of drugs, implying that it is not an intelligent decision. Alcohol is responsible for more than one in 20 deaths worldwide. That's a On average, almost 200 Australians a day are victims of alcohol-related assaults. Alcohol has become very much part of their lives. Because we talk about legalising, criminalising drugs, and yet alcohol is a drug. Drug, drug, drug. That's right, pretty lady. Why, look, it's on a harmfulness drug chart. For a guy like Sam... 38 doses of alcohol would lead to a 50% chance of survival. That's far less than the 10,725 doses of LSD it would require to do the same. Alcohol makes you pathetic and apathetic. It leads to depression, regression, concussions, and destruction. Please, for the good of your body, your mind, your family, your community, and your country, do your best not to praise the wrong drug. And if you can do so safely, try LSD if you truly wish to feel something. Oh, 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 oh,